Hey, everybody. And I am back. Wow, we, we reached 4,000. Thank you. Thank you so very much for your support. It is greatly appreciated. Woo! Look on the screen. Look on the screen. The Mrs. Poverty D. Little Kiki has made the screen. Little Kiki, why is she on the screen? Little Kiki, following little TT. Dom Little Kiki. I'm afraid she is the mama of one, two, three, ABC, felony. And you can see accomplice number two even brought along the baby. Two little Kikis gonna get a felony. And it's really sad to see one got herself impregnant by Poverty D. Let's go ahead and get to the video. Little Kiki, you did it, girl. Today, you secured that felony. Go, Kiki. Might end up having your baby in jail. Raised in poverty. Sadness making life a living hell. The decisions that you made. You put yourself there. I'm willing to guarantee she's just like her man, little Terrible Tyrone, little TT. Little TT. This is your baby mama. As I said before, Dusties bring what? Dusties bring drama and trauma. The financial implications is too much dust and dustinas in the nation. Let's get to the video, folks. Little Kiki, girl, you made it to the screen. Again, I see her as a mama of one, two, three, ABC felony. Little Kiki. Let's go ahead and get to the video. Fair use, so embarrassing. To an ugly crime. Crooks going to great lengths to snatch some pricey wigs, even using a baby to pull off this hair raising heist. Local 10 and Margot is live now from Tamarack with a crime on camera you need to see, really to believe. Yeah. This happened last night. Allegedly, three women walked into this beauty supply store here in Tamarack. They stole three very expensive wigs and even allegedly pepper sprayed one of the people working here. <laughs> Cameras inside the store show one of them was holding a baby and another one was pregnant. Surveillance cameras caught an alleged robbery and assault at this beauty supply store Sunday evening. And the three women in these pictures weren't alone. It happened at the Beauty Plug Beauty Supply Shop in Tamarack over the weekend. The shop's owner telling us these three women walked inside and then pepper sprayed her daughter before stealing several wigs. Mm. All the while, one of the alleged attackers wearing a green Yellowstone t-shirt was holding a very young child. And another in the Playboy t-shirt appears to be pregnant. On Monday what afternoon, a, a Broward Sheriff's Office detective came out to speak with the owner, spending hours inside the store going over the video. They are now looking into this case. So those cameras got a very good look at those women. It is crystal clear. So if you recognize them, if you know anything at all that can help with this case, help out this store owner. They've only been open since April, and they work every single day to pay their bills. If you know anything that can help, call Broward Crime Stoppers. Just opened in April, and look what's happening. Just opened in April, and look what's happened. So you are so stupid and so dumb your self-esteem, your self-worth is so low that you're going to sit up here and risk your freedom over a wig. I mean, if I'm going to steal, let's go back to the WPB and try to see, you know, old boy rolling in that Aston Martin and that Bentley. Joking. But seriously, a wig. 
This right here is a perfect example, in my opinion, ladies and gentlemen. And I know they're saying alleged. So, yeah, I'll say allegedly still in a wig, but they don't have a police out there for nothing. They obviously didn't pay for it. And look at this. One, two, three, ABC felony. Really don't have a choice. Look what's, look what's raising them. I guess the wig is for her because she got the bonnet on. But I guess they, so it's three girls, three wigs. All over a wig. This little baby right here don't have a chance. Poverty D and Poverty P. Child doesn't have a chance. What kind of morals and values? And over a certain amount that the wigs are expensive. Oh, uh, yeah, that is a felony. A felony. But you got your wig. Store owner just opened up in April, having been a full year, and look what you have to deal with. And look, she's already got her little baby, and this one got worn on the way. And then a mother to be in a t shirt with Playboy on it. Wow. Carrying the seed of poverty D. These young ladies right here is what this is what I call IODs, incubators of destruction. What kind of morals and values? And God, who would think you got with, with a baby? I guess this little baby learning early about the five finger discount. And now she got a baby coming. You have to be a fool to get pregnant by a man that can't even supply you with the wig that you want, but you're carrying the seed of poverty D. Are you, are you serious? What's this wig going to do for you? Is it going to change your life? What is this wig going to do for you? You're still damaged on the inside and mentally. What is this wig going to do for you? And you're going to risk the safety. You're going to risk your freedom. What's this wig going to do for you? Besides get yourself incarcerated because you stole it. IOD, Incubators of Destruction. So what do you think raised them? That's why some of these parents, let me tell you something. If you taught the child the right thing, of course, that we all know right from wrong, and they're dependent on living thug life, let them go. Do not bother yourself. If, she's, if he or she for the streets, let them be. Change the locks, TikTok, we're, we're done. Now, if they get incarcerated, who's going to take on uh, take on little Jamal or little Nick Nick? The state or family members? You got pregnant with a man and you got to sit up here and steal a wig. What kind of man is it? Poppy thugged out just like her. I don't, no decent man would get with this. IODs in action, incubators of destruction. The mammies, the dusties, and dustinas, they are a problem in the community. So already the store has a loss. What if the owner has more than one business? The daughter working that one, trying to have something in the BC. Look what happens. It's very difficult to have something to achieve. That's why when a lot of us get something we achieve. We become emotional because we knew it took hell or high water just to get there. Oh, we, we knew it was not an easy feat. That's how we become. It's like, well, the person crying so emotional. Why is that? Uh, when I was in Palm Beach and um, I used to live in the area of uh, uh, Embassy Suites. Okay. So anybody familiar with that? You know, it's a very nice, uh, beautiful area. And so just when I, um, was it yesterday? No, it was the day before yesterday. And I was walking into a store and this lady, it was an older lady, uh, older Caucasian lady. And I can tell she's old Palm Beach money. And I know people go by appearances. It's okay to have nice things. You know, I'll have some nice things. And then on some things I'll kind of crunch down on, you know what I'm saying? That, that That's, everybody's different. And so I can tell she's old Palm Beach money. And so, you know, you guys saw I was having a nice time. Hey, relax. I'm definitely not depressed. Hell no, I'm having a nice time. And so, as I was walking to the store, 
I just kind of thought about some of the videos that I do and some of the young people and the situations. And I thought maybe if they were exposed to a different type of being, they would act differently. You know, I had a lot of thoughts in my mind. I was like, oh my gosh, I wish what I could do if I could win the lottery. I would get like all the subscribers and I know I'm in dreamland, but if I win the lottery, get all the subscribers together, the ladies that could come to yo, we're going to meet in West Palm Beach. I'm paying for all the hotel rooms. We're going to have spa days. I don't care, man. We can have the double tree to Hilton have it booked out. And let's all come to West Palm and let's talk and let's be girls. Let's go to the beach, you know, do your thing shopping. Let's interact. You have business cards, exchange business cards. Maybe you don't have a business. You have a, you have an idea of the business. We'll go ahead and get it started. Get a name, get a DVA, get a business card. Hey, people can reach out to you. Maybe want to help you. You know, let's get let's get get to the next level. Let's get it started. And I just thought about some of the stories you know I've done on the, on the video. So this older lady, old West Palm Beach mom, money. She comes and she has her cute little dress on with her little hat and everything. And she goes, "Are you okay?" Are you okay? And I'm like, I'm looking around. She's looking at me. And I'm like, I said, oh, no, I'm fine. Okay. And I'm on now. I'm, you know, where I was when I'm showing you like the yachts and stuff, that's on Singer Island. Everybody knows that's where, and if you're familiar with West Palm, that's where a lot of money is. Okay. Obviously. And she's like, are you okay? Are you okay? And I'm, I said, oh, yes, I'm fine. She goes, well, you were looking down and you were looking sad. I just want to check. I said, oh, no, I am fine. Thank you so much. I'm just thinking. I'm, I'm doing great. I'm in West Palm. Come on. You know, I'm doing just fine. Just great. And so she said, oh, okay. Well, oh, all right. And she just went on, said a little bit more. I said, okay. Well, yeah, have a good day and all that fun stuff. And I got to thinking, I was like, why is she concerned, you know, if I'm okay? Why is she concerned about me being okay? If I were a homeless person, would she be concerned? More than likely not. And I thought about it. In her world, she's thinking, you know, people look at appearance. Oh, you know, and, and that's, that's how people are. I've been in a store, in a Chanel store. And I had an old Chanel, you know, oh my gosh, an old bag. And you and people come up to you, oh, hey, you know, we got some new Chevron coming out. I love her bag, da, 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 and all that, okay? So people go by appearance, I understand that. And I thought, I said, wow. She's being kind and sweet and checking on me because in her mind, by me being probably a black person and maybe dressed a certain way and, and you know, people do judge appearances. We, we all do. In her world, she's probably thinking, oh, she, you know, we have something in common. We're winning. Life is working for us. Now, it's working a hell of a lot better for her than me financially, okay? And I thought about it and... In her mind, she might think, oh, yeah, is everything okay? You know, nothing could be wrong because, hey, you know, look where you are. Look how you're dressed. You know, you're here. You've you've arrived. And I thought maybe that's what she was thinking. And I know people are really friendly in West Palm Beach. You know, I totally, totally get it. And I was like, wow, what if I were a homeless person? Would she be concerned? More than likely, she probably, a homeless person wouldn't even be there. But I said, maybe that's what she's thinking. Like, oh, yeah, you know what? Let me make sure that she's okay. You know, Palm Beach is small. And uh, a lot of people are like so friendly. I mean, seriously, I've been walking. I've walked past um, walking on Worth Avenue and working, walking past Chanel like near Hermes and have on a T-shirt and somebody strikes a conversation and get us talking and talking and blah, 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 you know. So it's friendly like that, you know. So, yeah, she's like, are you okay? You know, and I was like, no. And I appreciate her for being concerned. I'm fine. But in that moment, I was just thinking about some of the stories that I've done, I said, maybe if we could try to show, maybe we've got a Dustina or two who's watching the channel. I don't know. Every now and then, I'm sure Dustina's checking in and say, hey, it doesn't have to be this way. I'm not saying somebody's got the, the right idea for everyone, but sometimes if you think it, you can dream it, you can achieve it, you can be it. You know? And I look on the screen and in this case here, in some cases, it's too late. See, people like this on the screen don't understand. No one's going to ask if you're okay because they already know these young women, they're not. We could already tell by the decisions that they made.
already young and already pregnant by who is guaranteed the seed of poverty D. Guaranteed. Now got you right there in the street still and still in a wig. Talk about getting jiggy with it. She get, they getting wiggy with it. And going to wig, wig their way up all the way up to that felony. So stuff like this here, ladies and gentlemen, if you ever find yourself in a situation, you got these kind of astinas, I would say if you're in a store, something like that happening, man, go in the other direction. Go in the other direction. This right here, they're not going to be okay. Actions speak louder than words. They're already stealing. Already carrying the seed of poverty D and one little seed done popped out. These young women are not going to be okay. I'm afraid more than likely it's too late. And then they'll want to go and get a job. Pop already got some felonies. And if not, want to get a job and no one's going to hire them. No one. They're going to be just like their men, dusty. Go, Goldman Sachs, Aberdeen, MasterCard, nobody wants to help this. That's the part they don't understand. Nobody wants to help this. They're sick of it. It's 2021. Who in the hell is getting pregnant by a poverty D? Mr. Poverty D. You got girl, you got to be the biggest fool on the block. And sure, mistakes happen, but over and over and over again. Like on girl calling me about her daughter. Oh, you got a blessing. Oh, you do? We got a blessing. And I never forget, I actually invited her one time to kind of West Palm Beach and I showed her some pictures like back in the day hanging out. And she said, oh, no, I don't want to go there. She said, I don't think I'm going to like it there. I don't know why. Poverty D mentality. You got a blessing, seven kids by a single woman who doesn't have a GED and neither does her dusty, her dusty boyfriend. It's not a blessing. Look at the lives of the other ones. Some of them in foster care real quick. And then she told me one of the little boys is so sad. She's trying to round them up. You know, she got custody of them. But for a minute, he stayed with, um, I guess he was adopted in foster care by a white family. And she said, check this out. I was like, wow. That's why this right here, Poverty D and Poverty P, I'm sick of them. And I'm not saying because not all sick mothers, but you understand what I'm saying? Poverty D, these are the different kind. She said, when they got the little boy back, guess what he was doing? Already in love with whiteness. She said they would be going out in public, going to the store, and he would leave the family and go over to a white family and just start talking. Talking and touching on them. Why? Poverty D, poverty C. Poverty D and poverty P that's done left him. He ended up in the foster until she tried to, until she went to go get him back. And he's with a white family. And I guess they were nice to him, and he just done fell in love with him. She said, any white person he see, he just gravitating going toward him, going up to strangers, talking to him, touching him. Any white person he see, what does that tell you? That child has been damaged to think a JBW, just be white and it's all right. Any white person he sees, he's going to him. You got to be kidding me. If that's not a problem, that, that tells you a whole lot. He's already identified with, oh, I want to be with these people. He's very young. I think the little thing is like in elementary school. He could easily be snatched up and murdered by anybody, but especially if it's a white person. They can get you to do something crazy. Gullible. I never heard of that. He goes, oh, yeah, he's going to go with white people all the time. What the hell happened? Did they make him feel some type of way that he was special? Why would I, I? I can't understand it. But that's what she told me. So, to me, there's an underlying issue. You don't know about stranger danger. He just wants to go with white people. So maybe they made him feel a certain kind of way and the black people made him feel another kind of way. And he's like, oh, wow, when with them, I felt good. And I want to be with those people. Everyone's different. There's good and bad in all races. That right there, the seed of poverty D and poverty P. Mm -hmm. One of them is becoming a teenager and is already a behavior problem. 
So he might as well have a one, two, three ABC felony. Uh, he's getting a little older, nice looking kid. There's already a problem with him. Oh, some little stealing problems, cussing out problems. It's going to escalate. And you trying to take on all this here. And child number seven, it's a blessing. Girl, if you want to go with that, I wish you well. But look on the screen, ladies and gentlemen. Little T.T., his baby mama. Dusty's being drama and trauma. The financial implications to my stuff in the nation. So, yeah. They've made it to the screen. Two Dustinas. Getting jiggy with it. Risking a felony. Getting wiggy with it. Thanks for listening. Feel free to comment, like, subscribe, and share them out. This is so sad and it is so depressing. I just feel for this right here. Maybe they should get arrested. Maybe someone else should come and raise them. This is who I feel for. This one not even born yet, based on this video. But it looks like it could be any day now. Whew. This right here doesn't stand a chance. Not with these two fools in charge and they old dusty behind man. I'm out.